Okay, so I've just created this video to demonstrate a problem that I'm seeing with the Elementor nav menu. Uh, if you have a look at the menu I've got up here, just a standard uh, menu, and I've got a, a standard opaque header. Uh, so I'm demonstrating this on a template site that I use for a starting point for uh, websites that I uh, build with Elementor. Um, so this header that we're seeing at the moment is my standard opaque header. Uh, I also have a standard uh, transparent header which I use. Now what I'm going to show you is if I look at the standard opaque header, have a look at the navigation menu up the top here and pay specific attention to this little arrow down for the uh, menu items that have got submenus. So I'm going to do a Control F5 here, and you'll see some shift. So look at all this text here, so the about, the contact us, the blog. Uh, as I press F5, you see these all move to the right, and then they shift to the left. Now that is pretty much what happens with all the elements or nav menus um, that I use with their default settings. What it turns out to be is this arrow down is actually added via JavaScript uh, with Elementor. Normally when I see these uh, arrow downs on submenus or on navs, uh, they're added using CSS, not using JavaScript. Uh, now I think the reason Elementor opted for this is because of these pointers that they have. We can have the underline and overline. Uh, now those are using the after pseudo selector on that uh, item and typically you would add the arrow down using the after pseudo selector so I'm thinking that may be why they've done that. Uh, now this is a very common thing that comes up in forum posts that I've seen where people are going why does my menu shift? So Elementor did post an answer which is a CSS override uh, which basically hides this uh, arrow that they've uh, added and it adds the arrow using CSS. Uh, the caveat is that you cannot use the pointers at the same time. So I'm going to show you how I fix this. Now, if I go into this particular header and I edit that header with Elemental, and I go into my site settings and custom CSS, I put a lot of custom CSS in here that's site-wide and make sure you comment these out uh, so that they uh, make sense to you when you come back to them. So effectively the submenu fix is to have a look at this class, so this is a class name that I've created which will add to that nav menu uh, to apply this fix. Uh, now what this does, it goes, it looks for the Elementor sub, uh, sorry, Elementor item has submenu and then the sub arrow. Now this sub arrow is a span that's added by, by JavaScript uh, using the Elementor code and that's what's causing the shift. So what we're doing here is we're saying set the display of that to none. So we never want to see the arrow that's added by JavaScript. Uh, then we uh, select the same class name that we've just created here. So the sub menu arrow CSS. Uh, the Elementor items that have a submenu have this class automatically added so we can target that and use the after pseudo selector and this here is pretty much standard CSS that you would use to add an arrow. Uh, it's not an elemental thing, this is a pretty common sort of a way of adding an arrow. So to fix this what we need to do is grab, I'm going to copy that name, I'll just update that because I made a small change. We need to go to this sub uh, so we go to that navigation menu and we just add that class to that navigation menu. Now what you can see straight away is that these arrows have come up, but they look terrible. And the reason is, is because that they're being added to the uh, uh, pseudo selector that is actually creating the uh, what they call the pointer, so the underline or overline. So what we have to do if we want this to work properly, is we have to have no pointer. So whether it's a overline, double line, underline, whatever it is, it's going to mess up this uh, this fix. So we set it to none, 
and then we get our arrow there which is added via CSS. So I'll update that, view the page, go back to the uh, same page I was looking at, and now you'll notice that if I do an F5 here, these are not shifting, they're staying stable uh, because the arrow is not actually pushing these to the left when it's being added. It's being added via CSS within this container using the after selector. So it's a lot better than having these menus shift. Uh, the only caveat is that you can't have the overline and underline pointer. Uh, now I know that this has been mentioned to Elementor support by multiple people. I don't know what their timeline is for resolving this, but for me, I would rather have this menu not shifting, uh, not use that overline and underline, than have it shifting around when the uh, user free refreshes the page. So that's my fix, uh, my explanation of the fix for Elementor's uh, nav menus. Uh, I hope that's useful and um, you get some value out of this. Thank you.